Thank you. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, it's a, a pleasure for me uh, to open day two of Arctic Frontiers 2020 uh, with a topic that's very close uh, to my heart. Norwegians have salt water in our veins. Uh, the ocean is really a part uh, of our DNA. And my own uh, hometown of Bergen on the west coast of Norway has a very strong link to the Arctic, um, to the Arctic, through, through the ocean. Um, we had a big fish trade uh, with, um, with the northern part of Norway throughout the centuries. Um, and um, all along the Norwegian coast, there's coastal communities who have lived off, off fish, uh, off trade, and the, um, uh, the ocean. So having a sustainable ocean economy um, is a key priority for our government, and it makes uh, a real lot of sense if you look at Norway's uh, history. A sustainable Arctic ocean forms a critical part of our government's priority when we work with oceans, given that 80% of Norway's seas are north of the Arctic uh, Circle. Arctic seas are um, an important source of food. They're also important for energy production, transport, and also potentially uh, minerals. But the Arctic is undergoing rapid change. Climate change is happening much faster here. The um, Arctic ice cap is melting at a record pace, and the permafrost uh, is thawing. The Arctic Ocean is uh, getting warmer and also more acidic. This will affect the four million people living in the Arctic, but it will also affect the millions of people worldwide who rely on the ocean as a source of food, energy, employment and welfare. A sustainable Arctic Ocean is important for everyone, not just for the Arctic states. Together we need to find a good balance between uh, exploitation and protection of living marine resources. This is why Prime Minister Anna Solberg convened the high-level panel on the sustainable ocean economy, together with the president of Palau. In June, the panel will present a roadmap uh, to sustainable uh, ocean economy uh, at the UN conference in Lisbon. In essence, it will be a to-do list uh, for the ocean. Developing a healthy and sustainable ocean will be crucial for reaching many of the uh, SDGs, such as ending poverty, ending hunger, and also ensuring good health and well-being. And also it will be crucial to combating climate change. A study by the panel's expert group uh, demonstrates how uh, important the oceans can be for climate solutions. They really provide scale uh, to, the, uh, uh, combat, to combating climate change. Um, the paper that this expert group has made show that ocean-based industries can contribute uh, with up to a fifth uh, of the emission reductions needed to reach the Paris um, climate target. This is equivalent of taking one billion cars uh, off the road each year. So it's, a bi it's, it's big numbers. Another report uh, of the experts uh, in the ocean panel shows that uh, the ocean can be pivotal to combating hunger and malnutrition. Um, given the right conditions, the ocean could provide uh, up to six times more food than it does today. So the possibilities um, are big. But in order to get there, uh, we need uh, sustainable management. And to achieve sustainable management, we really need integrated oceans management. Norway has experienced the benefit of integrated oceans man management for the past 20 years. It sounds like a very boring word, integrated oceans management. Uh, but if you let it grow in your ear and in your head, uh, it will be more and more beautiful but, uh, because you discover what uh, it's all about. It's about seeing the whole of the ocean. It's also about um, using the best available science uh, in order to uh, manage a very important resource for our society. So um, integrated oceans management um, is going to be uh, extremely important in actually achieving a sustainable ocean economy is also important for the government. Um, we're going to pre present the revised management plan uh, of the Barents Sea and the areas outside Lofoten to the Norwegian parliament very soon. It will be, uh, of course, it's already hotly debated, which is good. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, we are talking about the use of a very important uh, resource for Norway. Um, 
and also we aim to go international. We are developing uh, a new program called Oceans for Development, where we want to share our experience with integrated oceans management with partner countries. Um, there's a lot of discussion about how much of the ocean should be protected, 10, 20, 30 percent, etc. Um, but I think what we really need to focus on is how, how do we get to 100 percent sustainable management of the ocean. And through our program, Ocean for Development, we really hope to promote uh, and export the idea of integrated oceans management, so that ocean can be at the core of a sustainable and inclusive economy worldwide. So we are very excited uh, about this uh, program. Um, uh, it's not going to be uh, a Norwegian imperialistic project uh, teaching other countries what to do, but we hope that uh, sharing experiences and also working shoulder to shoulder with uh, um, ocean managers in other countries, uh, we're able to improve the health of the oceans uh, globally. Um, people in the Arctic uh, have always lived uh, of the oceans through fishing, aquaculture, oil and gas. Um, we have created big wealth for our communities and for the world at large. To, um, to achieve sustainable management, um, we need to talk together uh, academia, businesses, politicians, um, uh, civil society groups. We all need to, to, to come together and, and discuss these issues. That's what we also try to do in Norway's integrated oceans management plans. Um, Arctic Frontiers, it's uh, the perfect venue to um, uh, discuss topics like this. I'm very excited to be here and I uh, really look forward to uh, being in the panel now afterwards. Thank you.